the Incredible Incas. <laughs> known for their excellent masonry and architecture. But how do they do it? How do their buildings withstand earthquakes? How do they move giant heavy stones? Well, let's find out. The Incas used pretty much whatever rock was available, usually granite or sandstone. Granite was very strong. Sandstone, however, was very resistant to the elements. Inca's tools were made of hard stone, and some studies suggest even bronze. There are two possible theories of how the Incas cut the rocks. First, they might have put wooden wedges inside the rocks, then soaked them in water. This caused them to expand and make the crack bigger. The process is repeated until they can finally break the rocks. The second theory, however, is that the Incas find the natural fracture lines and use those to break the rock. The Incas had a nice system on how they got things done. First one group came and broke off large stones. The second group came and took off all the large imperfections. The final group came and polishes the stone with wet sand to make it perfect. This process is repeated until they have all their stones. Now the Incas had to get the rocks to the building site. They used low angle ramps to decrease the amount of friction needed to pull the rocks up the mountain. Some studies also suggest that the Incas moved the rocks along wooden beams to decrease friction. When the stones finally reached the building site, they were put together. There were two main patterns that the Incas used. First, there was coarse masonry, which is rectangular blocks placed in vertical rows. This was more popular because it was used in temples and palaces. The second type, which is polygonal masonry, is where the stones interlock at random places. This was used in common houses and huts. The main question of how it all survived still hasn't been answered, so I think it's about time. First, having no mortar actually helped prevent the spreading of seismic vibration. The precise fittings make Incan's buildings nearly indestructible. This is Incan architecture.